So in this video, I'm gonna ask you to stop doing these five things when you hit on women because they just don't work. And what I'm going to do is if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you one thing that really can shift all these things and make your approaches or your dates much, much better. So make sure you stay to the end. Now let's get started. Number one, thinking too much. This is the biggest thing I see when guys come to a workshop. They're constantly in their head, their mind is racing and they're thinking about what to say. And even if their mind's not racing, they're pulled up and they're calculating like a computer how to communicate with a woman. They're thinking about the exact lines, the exact words. They're thinking about the subcommunication. They're thinking about how to stand, put your hands like this, cock your head like this, have good posture, look at her like this, hold eye contact, and everything is like a data point in their head. And when they do this, they start to seem like a social robot. There's one reason this doesn't work, and that's because they are literally disconnected from the source of their emotions, their body. How can you she feel your heart connection that you care if you can't feel your heart because you're thinking too much? How's she gonna feel your turn on that you're turned on for her if you're in your head thinking about turn on, you're not actually turned on, so you're actually really disconnected. How can she feel your power if you're up here analyzing and thinking? Why would a woman want to date a man that is trying to analytically seduce her, that's trying to say and do all the right things, but isn't embodying it or feeling it? So the key to this is to stop all the thinking and learn to feel, learn to flow a bit more. And we'll get more into that later. Now, I've even seen this so bad as that when the man stops talking, maybe he walks up with the perfect analytical line, the perfect eye contact, the perfect posture. Hi, my name's Brian. I just wanted to say hi. How are you? And when he stops to listen, he even goes more into his head. He's thinking while she's talking about everything he's going to say in response and how he's going to say it. I even had one client once that was super present and I thought this dude should be killing it with women, but he wasn't. He was super present. He was super feeling. He'd stop the girls. The girls would suck in. There would be a beautiful contact and, and connection. They'd start to flirt. Uh, they'd start to show interest and then he'd stop talking. And the moment he stopped talking and started listening, he started thinking. He went into his head to analyze everything she was saying to figure out what to say next and it would kill the whole conversation. Then when he started talking in, he'd come back to presence. And then when he stopped talking, he'd go into his head. And he didn't understand why none of these women would call him back. It's because he was confusing them. They didn't understand this connection, disconnection, connection, disconnection. It was weird. So if you're in your head, stop that one now. Learn to feel your body. Number two, state pumping. Now, this is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. It's not a horrible thing when you do it a little bit but when you do it a lot, it's a real problem. So state pumping is the idea that I'm gonna jump up and down, yell and scream, get myself into state before I go approach women and get myself all pumped up. What happens is most guys state pump way too much. They state pump because they're in apathy, grief and fear, the lower end of the emotional scale, they state pump a lot to get themselves going. And then they're running up to women. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian, what's your name? And they're putting on a character and the women can feel it. They're also not really connected to their emotions. They're more faking emotions. I've seen a lot of guys approach women in videos doing this too. They're walking up, hi, how you doing? My name's Brian. Well, you know, I only have a few minutes, but you know, do you mind if I walk with you for a few minutes, but I gotta go after that. And they're they're putting on a show and this, this, this weird character. And the women might be entertained by it, might entertain it for a bit because it can have some powerful energy, but oftentimes they won't call you back. At best, you're their entertainer. And at worst, you feel manipulative and like a player. So if you want to get past this, again, you've got to get beneath the state pumping. Where this does work is if for example, you're in, your primary energy is, is anger and you're a little frustrated and you just need a little state pump to get up to courage. And then you can seem like a sexy bastard because the jump isn't so much. But if you're really jumping up, you're down in apathy, grief and fear, and you're trying to jump up to courage from there, you're gonna, you're gonna really have to disconnect from your emotions to do it. So it's best if you learn to only state pump a little bit and learn to process what you're afraid of feeling get it out of your nervous system, get it, get all those fears, doubts, worries, the shame, get rid of the nice guy, which I've just did a good video on that you guys can check out. You know, getting rid of the nice guy, getting rid of the shame, getting rid of all the self doubt and the worry so that you naturally start rising up and feeling good about yourself. You want to learn to naturally feel courage from your body, not an idea from your head 
that's a character that you're playing. And that's what state pumping is really about. Number three is numbing out. This is another big one I see with guys. They're constantly numbing out. They're constantly just heavy and apathetic. And this is almost the opposite problem of state pumping. They walk up to women, hi, how you doing? My name's Brian, what are you doing? And if I ask them to get bigger, they, they just, it's almost like they amplify the numb. Hi, my name's Brian, how you doing? Where are you from? Uh, I just wanted to say hi to you. And there's a, there's a dead energy to them. There's no life force. They are literally like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. They feel heavy. And again, the women can't feel their emotions because in this case, they're numbed out and they're heavy. And so learning to actually feel, and again, it comes back to feeling, getting embodied, is the real key. This is the real secret. And uh, getting past this numbness will be huge for you. Now, a good example of this is uh, there was a, a beautiful, amazing woman. She helps out in my workshop sometimes. It's a woman that I dated for a while, and uh, she is an awesome human being. And I met her while walking down the street doing highs. I was yelling out highs. The people was having a good old time. My heart was flowing. I was happy. And I said hi to this couple that were talking to the side of the road because I was saying hi to everybody. And she went, why are you saying hi to people really loud? And I turned and I started talking. And immediately I felt that he was, I could feel his numbness. And I could feel me expressing, hey, what's up? How you doing? And he said, I just like saying hi to people. And I started to flow with her. I started to look at her eyes and I started to enjoy her. And I realized this guy was running game but he was doing a bad job of it. <laughs> it was killing him. Uh, my energy was up here. We were relating and we were flowing with feeling back and forth and he was kind of numb pulling her down. And she said, oh yeah, we're thinking about going to Wally's to get some food. You should join with us. And 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 I thought, no, no, no. I, and I and literally, because I'm a dating coach, I thought, I don't want to ruin this guy's game. I can already feel him blowing him out. I'm just going to step out. So I said, no, nah, I can't right now, but if you guys want to hang out later, let me get your Instagram. And I got her Instagram really quick and I walked off. I wanted to give him the space to work that energy and to see if he could get through it. Because sometimes people break through. They, the numbness goes away when they get a little validated. And I wanted to see if he could do something with it. So I texted her later, said, how was Wally's? And we started to chat. She goes, oh yeah, I got rid of that guy immediately. I didn't want to go to Wally's with him. I wanted to go to Wally's with you. And we started to talk and we actually ended up dating for a while. She works for me in the workshops now. She's awesome. And she always gives me shit about ditching her because she she didn't she was trying to use me to get away from that guy, which I kind of knew. But hey, I wanted to give him a shot. So that's numbness. So that numb, heavy, apathetic, no emotion, no feeling, no connection. We want to get rid of that as quickly as humanly possible. Number four, and this is a, another one that I see. This one is a little easier to deal with typically. And that's a guy that's pushing on a girl with his energy. Maybe he's got good energy. Maybe he's got good feeling, but he's like, hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? And there's a sense of want in that and a chase in that. And he's pushing all his energy at her. He thinks I got to have good eye contact. So I'll push on her with the energy. I got to have some turn on. I got to make her feel my turn on. And what that causes the women to do is to go backwards. When you're pushed on by somebody else, think of a salesman on the street. Maybe he's confident, bold, solid, but he's like, hi, what are you doing? Let me talk to you. I got this thing I want to share with you. And he's pushing his energy on you or she. If she, uh, you've seen that with women too. I've seen it with women in bars. It makes guys go backwards because they can tell that these women want something. That it's manipulating it. It causes you to pull back. I remember these two hot girls came in this bar that I was at in Beverly Hills and they started hitting on all the guys and they were really aggressive. And immediately all the guys shut off. I mean, we assumed it was a really high end bar, but we assumed they wanted something. They were prostitutes or something like that. And it turned out they were super high end call girls and they were trying to work the guys for money. Guys could feel it right away. Even this wasn't the, even though this wasn't Vegas, the typical place that call girls would come in and hit on guys, they still knew right away because we can always feel that pushing manipulative energy. Okay. So if you're pushing on girls, stop that right away. It's about learning to receive and relax. Feel your body 80%, 90%, and then feel them with the remaining, let's say 10%. You know, you gotta be aware of how you're feeling in relationship to them rather than pushing your energy on them and trying to get into their world. You gotta invite them into yours. And number five, the last thing I wanna talk about, sometimes we get guys that have a lot of feeling that do this because they're so sensitive, they're so in feeling. When they go to take action, they do this. And it's really simple, they're half in, and they're half out. They walk up to a girl and they kind of, hey, how you doing? I don't mean to bother you. Uh, you know, 
I just, I, I just wanted to say, you know, you're really pretty. And there's a sense that they want to say hi, but they don't want to bother her. And they're trying to be nice, but they're so nice, so half in, so half out that the girls can't feel their masculinity. And the key to that is to learn to own it. Learn to own that energy and own it fully. Don't apologize, but don't push. Walk up and own your body and say, look, you make me nervous. I'm scared. I'm sorry for coming over, but I had to say hi. You could still say, I'm sorry. Just own the energy or just say, I had to come over. There's something about you. Instead of, I, you know, I had to come over. I don't, don't mean to bother you. No, I had to come over. There's something about you and be present. So that's number five. So with that said, let's get into the solution to all of these. And the solution is very simple. It's what I call presence, being fully present in the moment. I know that sounds abstract, so we're going to get into what that looks like. Presence is very simple. It's being congruent with the moment, being proactive with the moment. So when I walk up to a woman, I am going to fully feel my body. I'm going to take all the energy I put up here for thinking and I'm going to feel my face. I'm going to feel my throat. I'm going to feel my heart. And I'm going to feel a sense my heart is opening. Then I'm feeling the whole space through my chest. And then I'm going to feel my stomach and my rib cage. And I'm going to feel like that's opening just a little bit. It only has to be a little bit. I'm going to feel the space through that. If I drop that energy like a waterfall down the front of my body, all the way down to my hips, and I really feel my body, then I can think, then my thinking will decrease quite a bit because all that energy that goes into thinking is going to be now dispersed into feeling my body. And that's going to make me so much more relatable. So let's say I go out and I want to state pump because I'm nervous. So I state pump up a little bit, get my energy going, and then I take that energy and I drop it through my body. I feel my jaw where I don't want to feel. I feel my throat. I feel my heart and I ask my heart to open. I get that energy in my body where it belongs for relating to another human being. Let's say I'm numbed out. Well, instead of numbing out, I could state pump and then do this same process again. Relax that energy through my body. Learn to feel my heart. Use that energy to feel. So again, as I said earlier, the state pumping isn't bad. State pump up a little bit, but then use that energy to feel, not to think. Don't start approaching till you can get the racy mind down a little bit, till you can calm down a little bit after the state pump, after you've got energy into your body, after you've got yourself moving. This is what the highs help to do when we teach the highs. They help to get your energy up, but then also teach you how to feel by gauging the level of response. When you're getting 60% or so good responses back from the highs, you're actually doing all right. That could be a smile, that could be a nod, that could be a wave, that could be a comment. And as they get better and better and you're relaxing more into your body while bringing your energy up from the highs, you start to get a realistic feeling as to where you're at in your body with real feedback. And then if you're pushing, you learn again by feeling your body, it will stop that. Now, the key to stopping the pushing is to relax and let her come to you and then feel her with your heart. This is when I talk about the heart walks, learning to open your heart. And what does she feel like when I feel her with my heart? What does she feel like when I feel her with my stomach? And I'm present with her feeling everything, not thinking, but feeling. So that when I feel she's a little shy, I'll be like, oh, what's that about? You being a little shy. Oh, I like, I like it when you're nervous. And she gets a little giddy. She feels a little push. She gets a little excited because you are present in the moment with her reactivity. When she looks at you and she says, you know, I don't know if I like you, but you, see, you can feel that coy look in her face, that little smile, a little turn on in her body. You'll know better and you'll just flirt back because you can feel her. So learning to feel your body is the real answer. And for the last one, that kind of in out energy where you're half in and half committed. If you're afraid, own it, own it fully walk up and if you're shaking and you're nervous instead of going you know i just wanted to apologize i don't want to bother you walk up and, and and say look her right in the eyes feel your body just like i said and say you know what i am nervous i'm shaking look at me but i had to come over and say hi to you and uh and you know i'll deal with it i'm a man that's the attitude that goes on the back end of that i'll deal with it i'm a man but i'm going to show up anyways in spite of my fear and that can be damn sexy Matter of fact, sometimes when you're a little nervous and you're shaking and you own the shit out of it, that can be sexier than if you weren't nervous at all because it makes her realize she really is having an effect on you and you can handle it and you can step into that tension and show up anyways, which is super sexy on a man. So those are the five steps and then there's the presence. 
learning to be more present. You can learn more about that in my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction, or at a fearless event, thefearlessman.com slash events, if you really want to do the work in person. And with that said, I'm going to invite you to check out my next video that could really help you in this area to get over your fear of really putting this into practice, which is destroying the nice guy. This is a great video I just did. And the nice guy, if you're nice to a fault, can really be a problem. In this video, I teach you a direct way to go after that nice guy and start breaking him up, building your balls, becoming the most powerful version of yourself. So make sure to check out that video. You will love it, I'm sure about that. And remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. I wanna invite you to check out thefearlessman.com slash events page. And if you wanna learn more about our events, what we do, if you really wanna learn how to uh, go through these energies and find out which one you're doing and break it up and learn to be powerfully present and bold with women, the, the Fearless Experience is the workshop for you. If you're gonna say, how are you? Connect here first. And I want you to feel the connection with the eyes, connect. When you've got that connection, you feel a little bit of tension, a little bit of vulnerability, then it's, hi, how are you? Hi. Or, I love your hair. You see that? Yeah. Okay. She will not only put you with beautiful women to do the work, we'll get you on video and we'll show you your exact subcommunication and how you're pushing the women away. On top of that, we also have a lot of live, larger events listed on the events page, like the upcoming Fearless Revealing uh, live workshop. And if you want to be part of that online and you want to watch a two day event of me teaching you about revealing and how to process these emotions at home in a safe space, then that would be the event for you.